Roberto, tell us about yourself. Mexican born, living in Texas now. Tell us about your background, how you come to how you come to be a professional fighter. <coughs> well, we've, it's been a <coughs> been one hell of a ride, man. Let me tell you. Uh, just um, I've always been on the B side. I've always been on the B side my entire fucking career, and uh, I've always fought against all the odds. I built a career off putting upsets, and those are facts. You know what I'm saying? And I don't talk bullshit, I speak facts. And uh, I've been looking for a fight since we went to Mexico to rob this kid over here. We went to fight a, a kid that was up on the rise, Omar Chavez, a big, strong kid. Uh, and they, they called me to fight him. I said, sure, no problem. You know, we took this fight on 28 days notice and I do a full-time job. I did, that's fine. You know, we went to Mexico, just me and my, my people. And we went over there, you know, everything for him, everything for him, the job, everything. Just, we knew, you know, we were always uphill. And it's not that I'm not used to, I like that. You know, I like being on the B side, the underdog. Um, uh, I don't talk, all this, you know, I fight, and that's what I do, I'm a fighter, I'm the last throwback fighter, that's what they've called me, and uh, I mean, the, I'm just happy to be here, the opportunity, I was, I almost had the, we almost had the Triple G fight a couple months back, we really wanted it, you know, it made sense, he was the gold champ, I'm the silver champ, you know, but Abel Sanchez chose otherwise his trainer, and uh, been, been, it's been frustrated waiting for nine, ten months, and uh, but we, you know we went to Mexico. Uh, we pulled up, pulled up a huge upset uh, with Chavez, and uh, this fight, you know, I told Don, I said, Don, man, you, you need to get me in the ring. I want, I want a big fight. I want a big fight, man, you know. And uh, they called me about this fight with uh, with the Murray. I said, please, man, give me the fight, please. The next morning. You know, when they got the answer, man, I, I was so excited, man. I said, you're not going to get me out of the gym. Uh, so I'm happy, me, my, my beautiful wife, my kids. I got a lot to fight for, man. And uh, I'm going to be very honest uh, with, um, well, with with Mr. Frank Warren. Thank you, sir, for having us here. Uh, you know, I've heard a lot about you, and uh, it's good, good things. Uh, but the truth of the matter is uh, I need this fight more than you. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And um, I'm glad to be here. Thank you, everybody. And you went out of your way at an, an early stage to send the message to Martin that you were up for it and you weren't afraid of it. No, no, sir. And Roberto, you know, boxing for you and being, and being a family man, both important things in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, <clears throat> everything I do is uh, for my, my beautiful family, my daughters. I fight, I fight hard as hell and I've had Many, many guys say they're gonna rip my head off, but it, it always changes, you know. <laughs> and uh, I mean, that's just what it is. I don't care about it because talking doesn't win fights. Uh, you know, um, uh, I go hard, man. I go as hard as I have to. I don't mind. I walk the line, and uh, you know, I, I go all out for my family. You know, and uh, I fight hard. You know, God family boxing, that is my life. And uh, I'm very happy to be here, I really am. Just 18 days ago, I was home in Texas, praying every night for an important fight, every night grabbing my wife's feet and everything. And I'm happy to be here today. I am very grateful and I'm gonna grab this opportunity by the horns, man. Thank you.